All right, a little update on where we are with this foundry mix and foundry setup. I went ahead and sealed the inside and base and lid tonight. Uh, I had been doing a burner on and on and off all day. You can see that one's still. I just put that on. It's still pretty wet looking. And this is the bottom of that right in there. So I just got finished. There's my uh, pipe in there. I wrapped it in aluminum foil <coughs> right before I put it in. So I'll be able to tear that aluminum foil off there. It may take a little work to get it off, but I'll be able to get it off there nonetheless. Uh, I'm using a black one inch pipe and I've started to work on my burner uh, set up and this is going to go on the end of that one inch pipe and then this goes into here which there's no way I can do it one hand, is there? No. So this is a one and quarter inch, not much bigger but a little bit bigger. Yeah, so I got to do it with one hand. Anyways, not a big deal, but then I'm working on <coughs> trying a couple different ideas. I originally thought about doing something like that in the pipe, and then this in there. And, oh, I'm drilling a hole in here for my gas to come through, but I couldn't get this to get all the way down to the proper setting. I thought that was the same size as this. Um, they're both the same, what, 3 eighths inch, but it doesn't fit in there. So I'd need an adapter. Plus, this was awful, uh, when it came down to it, this in here was a little loose. And I didn't know how I was going to get it to stay tight. So now I'm looking at maybe taking the top of this and cutting all the way through, uh, like I have here, and then over here as well, and then running something like a T in here and then running my nozzle off the end of that T on the inside, so like that, and then just capping the one end and the other end would go then to a oops, excuse me, adapter to the gas line. So that's what I'm thinking about now. <coughs> and I think, I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but once I get this cut out of here, this groove, both sides cut out of here, I think I'll be able to go out and buy a, another uh, like a cap for this or something and just cut it off and make like a uh, big nut that goes on here and screw this down until it hits the T, which will be down inside there. And that'll be what holds the T in and that let it come out. It doesn't leave me a lot of room for air here or here to come through. Um, but since that'll be all the way in, I'll be able to attach I'll be able to attach something like this behind it. Uh, maybe not that far on, but somewhere along the lines of, you know, back here behind it. After I put that nut on there, I think this will fit pretty good on there, because as you can see, you know, just put something like that in there, and then I'll, I'll find something that fits perfectly. It shouldn't be that hard to modify something. And that'll give me a place to blow air in if I need to blow more air in. I don't know if I'll need more air with propane or not. So, just want to leave my options open for in case I do need air coming in the back of it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get enough ventricle effect with this small bell housing here. But with the one inch pipe I have that I built mine with. The only upgrade I have is from one inch to one and a quarter. They didn't have one to one and a half. I'm pretty sure that's what I have here. Yeah, no, this is one and a quarter, and this is one. You probably can't see that because it's in the light. You're not going to be able to see it because no matter what I do, I get a light. One and a quarter to one. Anyways. So, I don't think they had one to two, or one and a half, which would have gave me a little bit more of a bell which is really what I should have had to get that air to kind of tornado effect through there. Nonetheless, this is what I got, and it seems to be like it's going to work for me. But that is where we stand tonight. Uh, I may not post this until I get a little more 
or until it's dry, it's just to give you an update. Um, but that's where I am. I've ended up using now a total of three of these containers of high temperature cement. Um, one of my I had to go out and buy one. This container here is still full, but it is a brick. I cannot do anything with it. I don't know if adding water back into it will fix it or not. Um, nonetheless, I had enough where the three and then I got about this much left in this one here. Uh, and I was worried about it separating and falling apart, but I've only got about an eighth inch on this here all the way around. So I don't think it's going to be that much in weight wise as far as concrete goes. I think we'll be okay. Anyways, if it's not, we'll start over and do it again. That's where we stand right now.